So even though we've covered Normandy and the Sioux in the same day, I believe that the two have a very different character and therefore I'm going to cover in this video Normandy by itself. Okay, so our pilgrimage has now taken us to the Omaha Beach in Normandy where the troops had landed on D-Day. So on the side of this memorial here it says the 1st U.S. Infantry Division, no mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great, duty first, forced Omaha Beach at dawn on the 6th of June. Memorials like this and places like this are very sobering. They have a strong reminder to us that not all freedom comes without a price. And the price paid by many of our fellow Americans and other allies was a tremendous price. But it was a price that has brought about a liberation and a freedom that we all have to now learn to love and respect. And the sign on the front of this memorial reminds us the Allied forces landing on this beach shore, which they call Omaha Beach, liberate Europe June 6, 1944. Now, at the American cemetery, where the many soldiers who died on that day on June 6th, they were just buried here, and there now is a memorial here also, after having visited Auschwitz a couple of months ago, to come to a memorial like this. It's a reminder of just how important it was that we took action. It's not flat to the box. It's in and out. It's no no sense in it. But maybe they're saying it's no sense in all the killing that happened here either. I don't know why you went in there, but we're I think there. I think we're going in there. I don't think so. You know they say no, it's Anthony and the, so no, it's a different Anthony. Yeah. Okay. Anthony Senior, Anthony Junior. Uh, four. Yeah. One hour before present. And now maintains and manages 26 cemeteries like this one and 29 monuments, 29 memorials outside the US in 16 foreign countries. The purpose of this tour is to discover the site together but also to share with you some stories of few servicemen and women buried here. This picture was not taken on the 6th of June but On this wall are written the names of the 1,557 servicemen missing in action during the Normandy campaign. The Normandy campaign lasted three months. Uh, near, near the name of John Anderson, can you see the, this little rose that we've put nearby? Uh -huh. just, uh, just here. If you have a look on the wall, there are two more here, two more. And if you make the all round of the wall of the missing, there are 20 small roses like this one. It means that the bodies have been recovered since the end of the war. Oh. Oh. On, the, on the 1557 names, only 20 of them have been recovered since the end of the war. Yeah, only 20. And this statue, just in the middle, uh, symbolizes the spirit of the American youth rising from the waves. The average age was 24, but here in the Normandy American Cemetery are buried 9,387 servicemen. Do you see only Latin crosses or do you see something else? 305 headstones for the unknown servicemen and 150 stars of David. Oh, that's so good. I mean, war. The pilot was only 22 when he was killed. His name was Billy Harris. Only 20 when she received the first telegram saying her husband was, has been not killed in action but, he, but saying he was missing in action. Missing in action, that means that Mrs. Harris, she still had hope. A few weeks later, she received the second telegram saying her husband has, has been recovered. Because this second telegram was a mistake from the US Army. This headstone, just right here, 
is Billy Harris Heston. Finally, a third telegram saying that time the previous one was a mistake and he was actually killed in action. The people of Levant, when they found the body, they first thought he was a Canadian pilot, not an American pilot. So they first buried him and honored him as a Canadian pilot. And later they found out he was American. So the body, the, the army took the body to bury him just here. He was killed in 1944. She found out he was buried here in 2005. Oh. And in 2006 she came here. Oh, for the first time. The story of a Billy D. Harris is a very heart-wrenching story to, to find out such a horrible thing. I'm sure the confusion of the time didn't make it e any easier. God bless Mrs. Harris. You know, the ceremony of the lowering of the flag once again just shows the power of symbol. The symbol of the American flag is more than just marking a nation. It also is that which marks those who made that nation what it is, those who have sacrificed their lives, those who have given so much. It should be a symbol that is always respected and always given its proper place. Visiting a place like this is very sobering. It's very somber experience. It's a very sad experience in some ways, but there's also that joy of the gospel that has to be inflicted here. No greater love hath a man than to lay down his life for his friends. Thank you to all those servicemen.